Hi, I'm Ben Anderson, Director of Public Health in Rotherham. For many people across Rotherham, tobacco dependence is affecting and ultimately shortening their lives. Dependence can make stopping smoking seem out of reach, but there's a range of support available for everyone who's looking to quit. Today, Wednesday the 8th of March, is No Smoking Day, a day where we want to highlight the key services to help you quit and some of the benefits you will feel once you give up the habit. Evidence shows that quitting with support, including use of nicotine replacement therapy or vapes, significantly increases your chance of success. I know from, the, from experience the impact that smoking can have. I lost my mum to smoking related lung cancer in 2001 when she was just 51, far too early. Smoking didn't just shorten her life but impacted the whole family. It meant she wasn't there when I got married, never got to meet her grandchildren and still leaves a hole in our lives 20 years later. Smoking has a great impact on health, as well as respiratory problems like COPD and lung cancer. It's also strongly, strongly related to heart disease, stroke and other head and neck cancers and vascular diseases like dementia. The theme for this year's No Smoking Day is smoking and dementia. There's strong evidence that smoking can increase risk of dementia. Whilst it's true that not everyone who smokes will get dementia, stopping smoking can help to reduce your risk down to the level of non-smokers. The sooner you stop, the sooner the benefits will come. Once you give up smoking, you start to feel the benefits right away. Your sense of taste and smell improve, you'll start to breathe more easily, and you'll start to have more energy. There's also financial benefits to stopping smoking. The average smoker can save around £40 a week by quitting smoking, which equates to roughly £2,000 a year. You can find out more about how to quit from our Stop Smoking service through Get Healthy Rotherham or through the NHS Stop Smoking website or app. Go online and find the best way for you to quit today for good. We deliver support to patients predominantly in hospital but we also extend that service to um, patients that are inpatient, patients that are coming in two day uh, pay, um, appointments. We also um, extend it to other family and household members. All of our services are tailored and delivered in a person-centred approach with very much the patient being involved in all the choices and being ensured that they get all the choices that are available and that we can adapt and, and match and work well with everybody so they get what they need. So as part of that we offer the behavioural support, um, so that's around talking about the helpful things that will happen when you give up smoking, some of them can be physical, some can be financial, all of the different things that can help when you stop smoking, aiding your recovery if you're having surgery, as a preventative to hopefully not having serious illnesses. Um, all of that sort of thing, but we also obviously offer pharmacological approaches which are our nicotine replacement therapies and we do have quite a high proportion of people at the moment who are taking up our offer. Lots of people definitely take it up while they're in hospital, but we are finding now that that is, is growing in people accepting a full stop smoking from the beginning. The key benefit to stop smoking is it's definitely got to be for your health and your, your current health and your future health. But, so, you know, we try to help people see those benefits because it can make a huge difference to someone's health and recovery again. So it's all about providing people with help, support, education, knowledge. It's not about telling people how to live their lives. It's about giving people support and options and choices. Stopping smoking just doesn't have health benefits, it makes your home safer. Fires caused by cigarettes in the home in Rotherham are roughly 13 fires per year. That was in 2021 and 22. So always make sure you're empty ashtrays, never smoke in bed. If you're an oxygen user, don't smoke near the oxygen cylinders. We do a lot of home safety checks. When we do the home safety checks, we do see a lot of cigarette burns on the on the bedding. Um, if we do that, then we do pass it on to our home safety team. Also, make sure that you have working smoke alarms and test them once a week. And for a free home safety check, go onto our website for more information.